Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Legacy Football. Six box, half of an inner case. Random team break number three. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting to the action. Really appreciate it. There are the teams right here. Let's roll the dice and randomize it. Yes, gram.org, checking my browser. We're not trying to do... Yeah, there we go. We're not trying to do anything, gram.org. Six and a six, 12 times. For each list, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and twelfth and final time. After twelve times, we got Allison down to Karen. And twelve times for the teams. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After twelve times, we got the Green Bay Packers down to the Arizona Cardinals. Remember, this is the 2020 draft class, so keep that in mind. All right, Allison with the Packers, Justin with the Lions, Michael with the Bears, Brandon with the Bucks, Keith with the Seahawks, uh, Quirino with the Dolphins, Jose with the Giants, Ron with the Saints, Brandon with the Chiefs, Ian with the Panthers, Dwight with the Bengals. There you go, Dwight. Ian with the Redskins, Ron, you got the Rams with your last spot mojo star next to your name, David with the Vikings, Chris with the Cowboys, Chris Parent with the Browns, Drew, Colts, Mike, Titans, Victor with the Jets, Josh with the Jags, Daniel with the Texans, Addison with the Chargers, Brandon with the, uh, with the Las Vegas Raiders. We made the official change, Brandon. So now now it's real. Those are my Raiders too, big Raiders guy. Ricardo with the Niners, Fernando with the Bills, Jeremy with the Steelers, Drew with the Broncos, Rick with the Ravens, Mike with the Patriots, Brandon with the Eagles, Joseph with the Falcons, and Karen with the Arizona Cardinals. So let's... Get all this on one screen here. Alphabetized by team. And it looks like uh, Rams up for trade. And I'm gonna switch away from the screen just for a second. We'll go back to it in just a bit. Remember I marked this L so you know that this is from the same master case. So we're gonna do, there's 12 boxes per inner. So let's pop this open. Got NASCAR on in the background, lap 45 of 130. Looks like Arc Amarola in the lead if you're into this sort of thing. It's on Fox if you want to watch. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the left side, six on the right side. I'm going to select a die. Let's select that Bellagio die right over here. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's gonna be one. So we're gonna do the left side right here. So this side, I'm sure we could run this back uh, today. So it's gonna be break number four, which is on Favre's jersey right here. So we've circled four for random team number four. I'll set this on my sofa over here, so. Might might run that back tonight. All right, two four. Let's flip back here. I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There's the final. No, nobody traded. So the list you saw on the screen remains the same. It's official now that it's printed out. Six boxes of stuff here. And we're looking for two autographs per box on average. That's what we're looking at. Good luck. We did a couple breaks of this yesterday. I thought it was pretty solid. It's a pretty friendly price point too. 
relatively speaking, all things considered. So, some nice stuff in here. Is Fitzpatrick going to be to his backup, Darksiders is asking. I, I don't know, actually. I think maybe without... They're trying to limit the amount of, like, training camp, right? Just for pandemic reasons, if I'm not mistaken. So, could there be a quarterback battle? So, maybe this favor is, like, like you know, veteran quarterbacks like Ryan Fitzpatrick to start the season and let Tua marinate. And he, yeah, yeah. And I was going to say, what's with that hip issue? He might not even be ready, first of all, with that hip. So, they might not even rush him at all, so... But that's their future, right? I'm assuming it's going to be their future. So maybe you, maybe you just let them marinate the season, the, the entire season. To be honest with you. All right, here's box one. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. right over here all right let's go so these will all be sleeved and top loaded of course and this is Keyshawn Vaughn it's a nice uh, it's a nice relic in there double oh eight out of three ninety nine I have to memorize where all these guys go, so let me just check on the checklist. He is a Buccaneer. We need a pen here as well. What's that? Keyshawn Vaughn, Ted says, is a monster. If you're looking for personal breaks, folks, Ted's getting set up right now. All right, there you go. Tom Brady's Tampa Bay Buccaneers. There you are. So that is for. It's got the bucks here. That's for Brandon. Brandon with that one. We got Dwayne Haskins at two ninety nine. What happens to? Uh, what's up, Darren Redding? What happens to, to Josh Rosen? I feel like Rosen deserves a legit chance somewhere. I don't think he got a fair shake season one, right? Bad coaching, bad offensive coordinating. We got minis in here too. And that coach got fired. And then the next coach that came in wasn't, you know, had his own ideas about how he wants to run his offense, you know? So then he gets shipped off to Miami, who's really just thinking. You know, they're just thinking, well, we just want to tank and trade away picks. So he didn't really get a share, fair shake there. And now they got Tua. There's Tyler Johnson, rookie autograph. So you got to think, like, hey, where does... Where could Josh Rosen go to get a fair, fair shake? Tyler Johnson another Buccaneer. So he needs a shot somewhere just to see before anyone puts like a bus tag on him, right? You know, because I don't, I don't think we've really seen what, what, what he can potentially do. But I don't know where, where would he go? Bears, that's not a, I mean, people say... People have been saying um, New England, but I don't think the Dolphins are going to trade a quarterback in division, right? But yeah, maybe the maybe the Bears. You know, Foles is a little old, right? I mean, how many more years does he have? Trubisky is maybe maybe he's a he's a late bloomer, but. There's A.J. Bouye out of 10. 6 out of 10. Nice low number right there for the Jags. Um, that's for Josh. So, yeah, maybe maybe a team like that. There's Brian Edwards, Las Vegas Raiders. Excited about him. 
up, Sean? <laughs> Raiders are collecting QBs. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if the, I don't know if the I don't know if Vegas would be a good spot though. I feel like the Bears probably feel like they're closer to significant playoff success if they had a a uh, better quarterback. You know what I mean? They might feel like they're a quarterback away. Raiders have a lot of work to do. They don't want to they want to invest in a quarterback at this stage. Gruden probably wants to draft one. To be honest with you. Is anyone else having problems buying to breaks? Johnny is asking. Hmm. Try a try a different payment method, Johnny. Mr. W. Joe, who should I be buying before baseball season starts? Well, I don't know. It's kind of a weird season, but I think a lot of people seem to say Luis Robert for the White Sox is one of the big rookie names this year. Bo Bichette could be a big rookie name this year. Those are the two popular ones. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. But with such a short season, I don't know. People might knee-jerk reaction a lot. You know, I could see... I could see Bo Bichette having one sad couple weeks and everyone's like, he's a bust, he's done. But because he don't have a whole season to work out, you know, whatever adjustments pitchers make to them, so... Yeah, the A's have the A's have pretty good, uh, pretty good prospects too. We were talking the other day, man. If the A's got their S together, or the city, or whatever, who's whoever's holding this up, and they get that stadium going, you know, they might generate that revenue to maybe hold on to some of those young players and be able to maybe sign a free agent or two and really be really make a jump. There's Javon Kinlaw. Did the Raiders make out okay on that Mac trade, or is it too early to tell? Uh, I think it's still a little early to tell. I actually, those picks have been picked and traded and all that sort of stuff, so I'd have to go to the Wikipedia to be like, what did the Raiders actually get for those picks? Uh, yeah, Javon Kinlaw is a San Francisco 49er. That will go to Ricardo in San Francisco. But I think they did okay. I think Josh Jacobs was one of the one of the the Khalil Mack one fifty. Thing is, I I would love to keep Khalil Mack. Let's not let's not let's get that correct. But you know, Cleo Mack on the Raiders last year. How many more wins does do the Raiders have? I'll bet they have the same amount of wins. <laughs> Raiders have a lot more work to do. Another mini right there for the Green Bay Packers. And we've got five out of 10, John Riggins, old Redskins legend, three color patch and autograph. That'll go to Ian and the Redskins. It's kind of a greenish sort of hue in the background with the refractor, that looks nice. I kind of like that greenish right there. You out of 10. Not too shabby. Here's Drew Brees to twenty five.
Um, yeah. So these are considered inserts. So for the ages will ship. Legends will ship. These are obviously rookies. So that won't ship. These kind of, these cards don't ship. But this will ship because it's because it's numbered. That's considered an insert. That will ship. These are rookie cards, so of course they'll ship. But it's only the cards that look like this that won't ship. These are these are the veteran commons. Uh, he is, Louis. He's getting set up as we speak. And he'll be going on at his usual 3 o'clock-ish Pacific time. Here's Donovan Peoples-Jones. All right, first two boxes in the books. Next one. Danny Hamlin with the lead in the, uh, I don't know what this race is called, but it's at Pocono. And there's a double header too. There's another race tomorrow. There's three, the, they're running the 325 now, and they're running the 350 tomorrow. Um, they must, they must bring two, they must bring two cars, right? Oh, sorry, Anthony, I missed that. Gotcha. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think we saw that message. I'm pretty sure, Anthony, I actually went in and changed your... I don't think I've seen an order for you. I, I, I've changed the name in your account. So your last name will have... Your street name there, just your street name. And then um, your cousin will have the street name there as well. So when when the shipping team is uh, printing out labels, that they'll be able to they'll be able to distinguish between the two. Originally we were numbering them, but maybe it's a little more clear to put street names on there. So um, so hopefully I did that correctly in the site. So that should, so when you when you order, your your name might automatically appear with that street name. So hopefully it works. There's Cole Komet, two out of 50. Notre Dame. You're welcome, Anthony, sorry about that. And that is a Chicago Bear. And that will be for Michael Butler. Patrick Mahomes. guy right here, Tua, Tago Viola, 14 out of 100 for the Miami Dolphins. Quirino Valencia with that one. All right, there we go. Can, can some of these be autographs? It's kind of small for an auto, but We've seen autos on minis before. There's Justin Jefferson to 100. That's a catch.
KJ Hill to 299. And we've got another Cole Komet. Three color jersey and autograph. Another bear. Another bear for Michael Butler. Try to find more uh, posted notes here. If you have any more baby, any more baby posted notes, I just have to go just go with large ones. All right, that's all right, all good. All right. Your Saquon Barkley to one fifty. Got a Deion Sanders, 20 out of 25. Gold Mini Falcons edition going to Joseph. What do you what do, what do I need to do, disciple? Alright, nice low number on that one. AJ Epinesa. Maybe something include a base Nick Chubb. <laughs> He's a great guy. Um, all right, if I if I spot one, I'll I'll pull one out. Don't believe him. Don't believe this is Al. Al Mack. There is Jerry Judy, Futures Relic and Autograph. That's a nice receiver there for the Broncos. All right, who's got my rivals here? Drew of the Broncos. I think people will be talking about Henry Ruggs and Jerry Judy for years to come. They'll be linked together to their draft positions and the teams they went to. Uh, 
That is Tyler Higby. And we got a Ben Roethlisberger. Someone was saying, was it Oliver maybe was saying Josh Rosen to the Steelers? You know, Ben's not getting any younger. I feel like Josh Rosen, who's a, who's a UCLA guy. If I watched college football, that would be his points here. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all on the points. So I've got a little little interest in Josh Rosen, see how he does. I think maybe. Maybe he needs a fair you know, a fair shake somewhere. There is Tom Brady, still Patriots edition here to 150. We got a little mini right here, Joe Montana. Nice. All right, two boxes to go. Onwards. Good luck. All right, we're restarting from that caution. Green, green, green. folks. It's Jalen Hurts. And we have Colin Johnson from the University of Texas. Colin Johnson. <laughs> Do I not know how to spell Colin? There he is. Jaguars. That'll go to Josh Callahan with the Jags. All right, there's Jeff Okuda to 50. Yeah, you can just leave it right there. A wreck? What happened? Eric Jones? No! I think I had Eric Jones in my DraftKings lineup. I think his day is done. Does he have a second car? Is 
Is Daniel Jones to 100? I guess it gets loose a little bit and then clangs right into the back of him. I had Tyler Reddick in a DraftKings lineup too. Chase Claypool, rookie autograph. Steelers, maybe? Steelers. There you go, Jeremy Anderson. Bonham nailed it. 94 out of 100. And there's McCoy right there. Kenny McCoy to 150. Last box coming up. Nice straight dog, there you go. Alright. AJ Dillon Mini, 275. That's to 100, Grant Del Pitt. And we've got Xavier McKinney. Xavier McKinney is a New York football giant. Uh, and that's Jose Olmos with the Giants.
We've got Terry McLaurin to 199. And we've got a mini Saquon Barkley for the Giants. Amazing, kind of cool. Tyler Higby, and we've got a Jake from State Farm. Nice, always good to get a quarterback jersey and autograph. Where did he end up going, Buffalo? Yeah, he went to the Bills. Buffalo! Fernando with the Bills. Buffalo! There you go, 55 out of 199. What's happening? What's going on there? Oh, it looks like the that surface right there is kind of coming up a little bit. So I'm just disclosing that. So there you go, 55 out of 125. TJ Hawkinson to 100. Vaughn Miller to 50. And that, my friends, is that. All right, points. Got to give away those points to one person in the break here. So let's go to, let's go back to this list right here. Let's get some new dice. Let's copy all these names too. There's new dice, there's a fresh list. Let's put all the names in there. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a one, four times, name on top, 250 points. One, two, three, and a one, fourth and final time. After four, name on top is Brandon. There you go, 250 points, a little consolation prize going your way. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.